today's video i would like to introduce you a very nice problem of international mathematical olympiad of compendium group here is the following information solve in prime numbers the following equation we have 2 to the x plus 1 plus y square equals z square okay so the left hand side of this equation is involved the power of 2 plus another square of this integer as a prime number and the right hand side of this equation is written on the form of the perfect square so in order to solve this equation you are going to check the parity of these variables and check the obvious cases and move on to solve the equation simply and also i would be recommended to use number two as a power in order to make the equation on the form of the product okay so before i proceed with the solution don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe and also if you would like to give the try to this problem go ahead pause this very one where you come back to see the full solution okay let's get into the solution now so we have the following equation first step i'm going to check the parity as you know the prime number it could be even prime or odd prime let's set for example if you, if you have z equals two okay as an even prime i'm going to replace this two into z to see what's given us so i will have two to the x plus one plus y square number four it will be split into two parts equals two four equals two plus two okay that's mean y square must must take number two and two to the x plus one must stick must be number two as well okay since y is an integer this is impossible to have y square equals two this is also impossible because we have two to the x plus one as a power so if you take in that's mean x plus one equals one that's mean x equals zero x equals zero is impossible because x is a prime okay since z is not equal to two because of this contradiction that means z is an odd prime that means z is super equal to t as an odd prime since we know now is an odd since the right hand side of this equation is an odd that's mean the left hand side of this equation is an odd as well but 2 to the x plus 1 is a even that's mean y square is a odd okay this is odd now we have y and z are odd primes let's move on to solve our equation as we know we have z square equals y square plus 2 to the x plus 1 now i'm going to take this y square to the left hand side of this equation i will get z square minus y square now i'm going to factor out this one is giving us z minus y factor z plus y equals 2 to the x plus 1 okay since the right hand side of this equation is a power of 2 that's mean the left hand side of this equation must be a power of 2 as well so that's mean we will have a following expression i will have z plus y it will be written on this form 2 to the j as a power of 2 and also z minus y as a second equation it will be written on the form of the power of 2 2 to the i and j is strictly superior than i because this term is bigger than this term okay now i'm going to add the first equation on the second equation y will be eliminated i will be left with 2z equals 2 to the j plus 2 to the i i'm going to divide both sides by number two i will get z equals two to the j minus one plus two to the i minus one okay as we know we already determined z was the odd prime so this one it was odd prime that's mean the right hand side of this equation must be odd as well so but the right hand side of this equation is even now in order to make the right hand side of this equation odd I'm going to make one of these terms one by giving the exponent zero. Which one can take zero here? The smallest one can take zero. Since j is bigger than i, so that's mean the smallest exponent can take zero. That's mean this exponent is taking zero. Okay. So that's mean i minus one is taking zero, equivalent i equals one. Okay. Now we'll have z equals 2 to the j minus 1 plus number 1 okay 
in order to determine y, I'm going simply to use the second equation. I will have y equals z minus 2 to the i. By replacing i with its value, I will get number 2 here. So I'm simply, I'm going to replace z with its value. It was 2 to the j minus 1 plus 1 minus number 2. Okay? So that's mean y equals 2 to the j minus 1 minus number 1. So here is the following values, y equals 2 to the j minus 1 minus 1, and we have z equals 2 to the j minus 1 plus 1. Now, so the second thing that I'm going to notice here, the exponent of these two terms equals this exponent. So this one it was 2 to the j times 2 to the i, which equals 2 to the j plus i, equals to this exponent, 2 to the x plus 1, okay? So that's mean, so that's mean j plus i equals x plus 1, okay? So we already found j i equals 1, okay? I will have j plus 1 equals x plus 1. Now I'm going to tick off, now I'm going to cancel out from the left and the right. I will get j equals 2x, okay? Now I'm going to tick these values at the top and continue with our problem. In the last board, I was wor working on this equation and came up with these following expressions. And we found y equals 2 to the j minus 1 minus 1 as a f solution. And we found z equals 2 to the j minus 1 plus 1 as a second solution. So, and j equals to x. Now I'm going to replace g with x, okay? So we'll have y equals 2 to the x minus 1 minus 1. And z equals 2 to the x minus 1 minus plus 1. The most important thing here now, as we know, the x has two possibilities. It can be even prime or add prime. If x equals 2 as an even prime, I'm going to replace number 2 here. I will get y equals 2 to the 2 minus 1 minus 1. 2 to the 2 minus 1 is giving us 2 minus 1, which is 1. This is impossible because based on given information, we have y as an add prime. We already proved y was add and what this one and was prime as well so since y is a add prime this, this is impossible that's mean x equals 2 is ruled out of this possibility this one is telling us x must be x must be a add prime okay add prime that's mean number two not divide x because x is a add prime now is verifying the Fermi. Now we are allowed to apply the Fermi theorem when we have an integer is not divided prime. So then we have two to, to the x minus one is a congruent to one mod x. By taking number one to the left, I will get two to the x minus one minus one is a congruent to zero mod x. As we know, this is y equals y, okay? This one is telling us x divide y, okay? This is one side. On the other side, we have 2 to the x minus 1. Minus 1 is a congruent to minus 1. 2 to the x minus 1. Minus 1 is a congruent. Since x minus 1 is a even because we have x is a odd, that means x minus 1 is even. The exponent minus 1 to the even, this one is turned number 1. So that means 1 minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 3. Okay? How come this one is congruent to 0 mod 3? Because this one is a factorable polynomial. That means number 3 will be divisor of this one. Okay? This one is telling us 3 divides 2 to the x minus 1 minus 1 which equals y okay so I have two things here I have x divide y and I have 3 divides y okay so this one is telling us x equals y equals 3 because x y are prime numbers now I'm going to take these values of x and y and replace it into the erosion equation to see what's giving us so I have y equals 2 to the x 
minus one minus one by replacing x with number three i will get two to the three minus one minus one two to the three minus one is given as two which is four minus one which is three to find z z i will have two to the three minus one plus the number one two to the three minus one which is two to the two which is four plus one is five now you have the, the pair of the solution. I will have x equals number three and y equals number three and z z equals five. Okay. So the, this is the only solution for this equation as a prime numbers. If you replace x with number three here, it's given us two to the four, which is sixteen. Y is given us y two to the two, which is nine. Nine plus sixteen is twenty-five. Twenty-five is the same as 5 squared, which is 25. So I have done with this problem. If you are anxious watching this one, don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.